talked about collecting our materials, our tenders, our kindlings, our firewood, our fuel. Um, talked about building the fire. Now we're going to talk about actually lighting the fire. And in another video, we talked real quick about ignition methods. We mentioned, you know, the ferro rods, um, the magnesium style uh, with the ferro rod embedded in them, and and the lighter, of course, the the, the just about surefire guaranteed way to get a get a fire. Matches are also good. Um, this is a little more reliable than matches, and it, you get a lot more uses out of it. But we're going to see if we can get this to catch with just a ferro rod. Um, this is a very good tender, um, but it has been damp, so we'll see. Um, we'll try the hard way. If it doesn't work, then we'll use the, the easy way. So let's see what happens here. There it goes. One strike, two strikes, excuse me, and we have a fire. Just give it a minute. There goes the grass. So again, this stuff's a little damp. You can see, I can tell from looking from here that it's actually a little damp, but <coughs> I believe that's going to catch and be just fine. And we'll have a nice toasty fire out here. Maybe we'll make some coffee or something because it's a little, little chilly today. Again, you guys up north are laughing at me, but it's 35 degrees. So there we go. That's the, the stages of getting our fire going. And as you saw, we got it lit. We've got our pile of little stuff here that we can add to it just to keep it going to ensure it catches. And it looks like it's gonna hang in there. So there we go. So practice the different methods. If you're, gonna, if you're relying on a fire steel, make sure you're proficient using it. Have the lighter on hand. Um, do the steps in the right, right way. Collect your materials, build your lay, then get your ignition source. Um, it has to happen in order if you want a fire. And if you're outside and you really need a fire, there's like no second chances. You gotta do it the right way. So practice your fire building skills and get proficient and comfortable in tools too, that's a big thing. Ferro rods are fairly easy to use, but they're not the easiest thing in the world to use. Um, get proficient in using one. Um, practice with it. Uh, it's a lot of fun too, good for the kids to get them involved outside. So there we go, that's our video on fires today out here at the ranch in Gainesville, and we'll see you guys next time.